Hello everyone, welcome back to our Sky Factory series. Now, I have done a decent amount of stuff between episodes. As I cleaned up some of this area. And... So look at it. Big reveal, big review. Ta-da! It is not complete, but we have got quite a lot of them done. I still need to get two more golden ones, and then the diamond one, and then do the saplings for the wood, a cobblestone, and then a, um, what's it call it? The um, saplings into the dirt. And then this area will be done, and I can block it and everything. But uh, also... I've done a little bit over here, just mainly just made a staircase. So we got the white flooring, we got blackish walls, and we got gray stairs. For now, there'll be more stuff added. But yeah, this is going to be the library. Or what's going to eventually be the library. I'm not going to do this right now. Nor are we going to continue with any of the machinery right now. We are going to go and look for a cure for that video of the jury we have. Now, the only way I can make a cure is if we head to the nether and find another fortress to get a blaze rod. So I can make a brewing stand. And that's what we're going to do here. Now, I have a couple of shulker boxes with some cobblestone already, but let's grab a few more stacks. There we go. Now, I've already been to several places. There's one place I haven't really checked that much. These have the cobblestone in them. They need a little bit of room. Okay. Really? Well, guys, I'll be right back. And we are back. Sorry about that. I didn't know that would happen. Hopefully going through the portal again. Uh, my... Please don't fuck up. I think we're good. That was weird of a error. And there's something here with us. at all. Don't need these. Hey guy. Hey Bob. How are you doing? Doing pretty well. Now is this full blocks or slabs they use for that part? Slabs, okay. Yeah, this is the only direction I really have really gotten to. I gone this way, I have gone this way, of course, and I gone this way. So it's the only path I really haven't gotten to. And I need to find a nether fortress because they only spawn there. It's a pain in the ass, but you know has to make it work. Now I could go to that pig leg and trade him with gold to get more fire ref potion or yeah, fire potions. Yeah. After we find and cure him, we bring him over to our area. We'll actually put him above where we're gonna build a little house. We'll make a little um, village. 
and hopefully we could get find another one we could convert back into a villager and they can make the babies the babies I'm just hoping we will find another fortress this way. Damn it. Keep on doing that. Gladly, with the new remote, I don't have to worry about it messing up on me. So this is a lot less scary. Once I run out of slabs, I will put the full blocks on the sides up to the point and grab some more slabs. Now, I do have a crooked bench on me, but I want to do it this way. Now, I'm not sure if I want to make this afterwards look all pretty or not i mean i'm not going to spend a lot of time in the nether well besides getting the blackstone but that means we'll be underground or under certain locations and we won't be able to say this see this very often so, i mean i don't think there's a point in making it pretty now when we actually begin our actual world that's a different story. We will make another hub. Hopefully. That's going to take a long time to do. That way, if we have like farms, like an um, area where we get sand, or an area where guardians are, or we want to make fast travel to, like, let's say, the stronghold, we could use the nether that way until we get you know leech trap oh it's another thing i have to worry about here fucking slimes I'm using slabs, of course, because I won't want any spawns. Okay. Or slab. A lot more slabs. And a lot more dead magma cream. Come here, magma cream. We're actually a decent amount further along than we were. Now, I guess I will encase most of this so I protect it and don't have to be a scary little guy.
all this work just to cure a villager. Cure, not cure. All. God, this is still scary. Even though I probably won't fall, it's still it's terrifying. I want to get closer to that glowstone. I think once we're past the glowstone, there's a place where we can look around. I don't want to go up a little bit. Don't look at me, guys. Don't look at me. He's gonna look at me, isn't he? Maybe not. I need to bring a bow. And we will start going up now. Just a little bit. go up let's say four more not really worried about getting glowstone because we've got plenty of it
Yeah, that'll be good. Now we're above here, so we can actually look around a little bit once we place all of the blocks. There we go. That is a solid path. Don't want to forget the ones on the sides. They're important. Those are done. Oh, one. There you go. I don't think the Zombie piglins are gonna cause me much trouble. Oh, I need to make the path a little bit bigger because that is a void area. Or not really a void, it just goes into more lava. Shrooms. The mushrooms. Nope. Always with the misclicks. Get a little too close. Oh. oh, maybe not. Okay. Does it get a little too close for comfort? What is that over there? Still nothing, really. Alright, 
I should get more slabs before I continue on. Of course, there's one right there on the bridge, pretty much. And that's why I made this out of cobblestone. want to deal with that. <sighs> I got the yawnies. in the way. This might take longer than I thought it would to find a cure. If that's the case. God, there's a lot of quartz right there. Kinda wanna grab it. Nah, I can grab it any other time. So far, nothing. We got a decent amount of ways. I might just have to do this off camera, actually. 
which is a little sad. But I'll probably start recording it once I find it next time. So guys, I'm gonna have to call it here because I don't know how long it's gonna take for me to actually find the fortress to get the cure for that one villager. So, like always, keep those gears turning, and bye!